In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the absolute basics of Blender. If you don't know how to use Blender at all, then this is the right video for you. So, without further ado, let's go on to the video. Alright, so when you first learn about Blender, it's gonna show you this screen. All you gotta do is just click off, and when you click off, it'll be your cube. So, first thing I'm gonna show you guys how to do is how to delete everything. Just to start from a clean slate, what you need to do is press A and delete. So now, how to add objects. There's two ways to add objects. The first way is to go up to the top, press add, mesh, and then select your object. I'm gonna add a cube, or press shift A, mesh, and then select your object. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how to move your camera around. If you're working with a mouse, it makes things a lot easier. So all you need to do is click down on the middle mouse wheel and just move your mouse. Now it will rotate around. And if you wanna like move where your camera is at, a shift with the middle mouse wheel. However, if you don't have a mouse, that's all fine. Go over here to this little hand icon and you can move your view. If you wanna rotate, click one of these and that'll rotate around in the same way. To move your object, you have to click the object and then press G. And then now move your mouse and the object moves with it. You can also move your object along the axes. Press the letter that corresponds with that axis. So for example, if you wanna move on the X axis, press X. If you move your object and you're not exactly happy where it's at and you want to just go back to where it was before, you can right click instead of left clicking and it'll just go back to where it was. But if you want to lock in where you're at, left click and it stays there. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to scale your object. Press S and just move your mouse and it'll get bigger or smaller. You can also move this along the axes. It'll just make it like longer or like taller. Next, we have rotation. Same thing, press R and move your mouse, move it along the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. Next, we have edit mode. Like adding objects, there's multiple ways to get there. First way, go up here to object mode, click it, and then select edit mode. And now you're in edit mode, or go back to object mode, and you can just press tab, that's way quicker. Basically, edit mode is where you can edit your object better. Bruh. So a little rundown of how to use edit mode. There's these black dots right here that you can select, and these are called vertices. Off of default, when you open up edit mode, you're in vertices select mode. But if you want to change that, you can click this right here, and this is edge select mode. These lines connecting the vertices are called edges. Same thing, you can move these. And you can use all the features I showed you guys earlier, like you can rotate this, you can scale it. And lastly, there's face select. Faces are just the faces. So, move them around. You can do whatever you want. This next part is a little more confusing, but I'll try my best to explain it. So, when you're in edit mode, there's different hotkeys. The main ones that people use are extrude and bevel. So, what extrude does, so like a part of it is kind of like sticking out. So, for example, if I want to extrude this face, press E, and then I move my mouse automatically, it's on the Z axis. And so I'm extruding it upward. So when I go back into object mode, it stays like this. If you want to go back on something that you did, I didn't go over this earlier, but all you need to do is just press Control Z. It's like any other software. Also, we have bevel. Bevel is kind of hard to explain, but the main purpose is to smooth out sharp edges. So just to show you guys, first press A. What A does is it just selects all the parts object and press Control B and then move your mouse but not much only a little bit as you can see when you click off you smooth out your edges now when you're beveling objects you need to be careful because as you can see this corner right here it's like overlapping and that's never good if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below I always respond to questions you can even check out my other videos I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, make sure to check out the other videos on my channel. I'll pop some up on the screen right now. I have some tutorials that are very similar to this that help you get better at blood. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.